Hey everyone, welcome to Systems Within Systems. I'm C. for Lawrence Hill. You can reach me on systemswithinsystems.com and that will connect you with all the different sites and videos and all that stuff. All right, so as the prelude to this, I said I'm going to start talking about positioning, reading a person's position uh, instantaneously and blocking going in. So you see a lot in the movies and whatnot, people throwing things and they're doing these blocks and whatnot. And that's a very complicated thing to actually teach and talk about. Uh, real life blocking doesn't really work that way. And when you're actually using the blocks, they come into a play of reading your opponent and kind of figuring out where they're going to be throwing something to allow you to apply that block in a real life situation. So when it comes into dealing with weapons and whatnot, or a person throwing something at you, their body, their kicks or whatnot, uh, it's very good to be able to read positioning or how positioning works. And so one of the advantages about combat, or the way that most people fight, they give themselves away uh, before they fight. So their hands are either coming up in some position, they're coming at you in strangle position, they're putting their hands up, they're on the mark, get set, go. If you're really involved with combat, there's no fair fight in combat. There's no like fighting by the rules. So the idea of actually being in a combat situation is to be able to instantaneously react to the situation. And you can't think about, well, I'm gonna grab somebody's hand, I'm gonna take it, bend it this way, grab it here, twist it here, and move it here. Now for the benefit of all the material that is out there that a lot of these teachers and people are showing, that's the way they have to show it. Though in combat, they may do it completely different or pull up one of a thousand different techniques that they would use for a situation depending on the experience or level of violence that is coming, coming out of a person. And depending on what the person is dealing with, what kind of medication or drugs or, you know, snapped a bunch of neurons are coming at you. You know, like an eight-year-old with a knife could be very dangerous when they have a temper tantrum coming at you with it. So being combat ready is being understanding and seeing a person taking a position. So whether if a person taking a position this way in front of you, if they're taking a position you know, this way, if they're holding a knife, they're coming at you from these angles, they're telling you what they're doing and where they're gonna be attacking on the first level of understanding how that works. This is where blocking coming and going in starts to work because you're not waiting. The other thing I want to say is that you have to get out of the mindset that a person is behind this force field just because their hands are up. If their hands are up and they're coming at you this way here, if they're holding a knife and they're coming at you, whatever it may be, you don't need to go around things. Real combat is not about going around the arms, though you can go close to it or move them out of the way, that's where the blocking comes, coming in works, or um, you attack, you attack the weapon you attack them, you attack their hands, you attack their legs to move to the center, right? It's not like opening up a clam. You open up the clam, you pry it open to get to that gushy stuff. It's all there, you move right through it. That's combat. No matter how big or what the person is holding, whether it's a gun, knife, chair, anything, just big dude standing in front of you, a number of people. So we're gonna talk about that a little bit and how you line that up. So first, We'll take something very standard. You know, if you got a person who's just working with the, the monkey in here, and their legs are this way here, and their hands are here and here, this is what you're going to use. If they're coming at you more like a, a street where their hands are this way, they're coming at you like this here, like giving the whole center open, but they're baiting you in, uh, or whatnot. If they're holding a knife, we'll get into that a little bit too, or holding a hammer or some type of weapon, um, <clears throat> how you're actually going to work off of that. The first thing you do, wherever it is, is you don't give yourself away. You're not going to be standing and going like this here, this is on your mark, it's at go. I'm going to be ready, if a person is moving, I'm going to be standing from one side, I'm going to estimate where I'm going to be going, I'm going to stand from this side, or I'm going to stand directly on so I can move here, which is I really like attacking. There's three types of attacks. There's waiting for an attack, where somebody comes at you and they swing, and you're you know, letting the swing go by and then you work off of that. There's attacking first, you know, as soon as a person starts to move, you attack before anything happens. And my favorite type of attack is attacking at the same time, which brings it more into real life situations. And these three strategies are the ones that you would actually use in a Mortal Kombat situation. I'm never really a fan of waiting for a person to attack. 
if a person pulls out a knife or takes a ready position, uh, I live by a rule, if my hands start to come up, I'm taking action. At that point, I'm ready for action. But because as my hands come up, I'm taking action at the same time. If a person is holding a knife out on me and threatening me with it, it doesn't really happen that much these days either. Nowadays, they just pull and stab. Uh, but if a person's holding some type of weapon, uh, why would you wait to see what they're going to do? It's best to attack the weapon, move right then and there, or if they're coming at you, to, to attack it. All right, so if you've got a position where a person's got their hands up from here to here, and they're standing this way here, or they're standing, let's, let's take, take a standard one, right, where a person just doing some basic boxing and whatnot, their hands are here. So you're not worrying about going around them, you're going to work off of the hands and attack with the hands. So I'm going to show you a little bit of that with Vic. All right, so Vic's just going to stand here. So here's what we're talking about with the stance is where I'm going to stand this way. You know, I'm going to stand like, like all of a sudden his hands come up, right? So you just do the scenario like his hands are coming up and I'm going to attack from there. So I'm here, I'm combat ready. My hands are going to move this way. My foot's going to move this way. If I'm standing here, my hands are easier to get to where I want to get. Or if I'm standing here and I'm listening and he comes up, I'm able to react right away off of that. So what we talk about blocking going in, if you can see, he's in these positions here. So here's his center line coming down here. I have all these other angles where I could come and hit from, right? As I come out with the motion here, I attack the hands, right? So I'm going to come out from here. Now I have all the center line to come in also with my leg. If I take my legs, I attack the hands, attack the hands, I'm coming to the inside. So both are coming in to the object. He's already kind of telling me where I'm gonna hit. So just as an example, blocking going in moves this way. I'm not gonna be waiting. And of course he has this punch, he has both legs ready to come in. So all of that is how I line up to my opponent. My motion could just come here. So at this point, slowly, all I did is here, here, then my hand here, and then I can move in, right? So all my action, even if I decide to come from this way and cover both the arms, so I'm coming in here and moving, and moving, right? If he's standing here and I just come in right from here, I can see his center, I'm just coming in and then moving, right? Center line. Say he's taking more of a hoodlum stance, and he's here, so here, he gives me directly his whole center line. Most guys that do this are more street savvy. They're coming in, they feel they're tough. You're not, you're not gonna hurt me. And they're gonna hit you with these punches coming over. They're already locked and loaded. So as soon as you move, he's gonna come in. So here, again, if I'm gonna attack the hands, I'm gonna move more this way, you see? So my motion comes here and moves in, right? If I'm coming in from here, I can also move to this side. Right? I could come to these different, I'm gonna move, or I could simply just go, boom, because <laughs> he's got his whole center open. Why do I even waste my time? He's a big guy, and it's a boom, and then, right, so say my hands are here. As I go here, he throws a punch. As I kick him, boom, I'm right here to move in. My hands are already set, because that's kind of where it comes into blocking at the same time. So again, for everyone that's there, if a person takes any position he wants to take, here again, I could come over to here. Here again, he has the center open. I may want to come to his head. I have his legs. So stuff like this, you know, like when you're kicking this doesn't work, but stuff like this, boom, kicking like that does work. All right, I'm gonna push that knee in another direction. How you get aggressive with it. So there's no on your mark, it's set, go. He's there, he's there, I just here. you see? So here's that punch coming, here's his jab, and you can see where I'm covered from here, boom, where I'm kind of coming in and where I'm moving in. So, thanks there. So I wanted to really kind of give you the idea of how you're actually going to be uh, using a person, not to like get, uh, Vic, let me use you again. And Vic's coming here, just give a, uh, he's, Vic, he's got his hands up. He's, I'm not gonna be going this way here, you see? You know, or the matrix, <laughs> okay? I'm not going to be doing that. If his hands are up, boom, I'm coming right in, boom, coming in right in with the movement and what I'm actually going to be doing with my legs and how that's going to be uh, motion. That's just no on your mark and set go, it's just go. That's combat. All right.
Thanks, guys.